these lectures cover the system request. Now, a system request is a document that describes the business reasons for building a system and also the value that the system is expected to provide. Now, once the project sponsor identifies a project that meet, meets an important business need, he or she can identify the business requirement and the business value of the system. Then it's time to formally initiate the project. In most organizations, project initiation begins by preparing a system request. Our main objective in this lecture is be able to create a system request. And we are also going to show an example. So a system request that's the business reasons for the new system. Now a system request again describes business reasons for a project. Also, it defines the system expected value, which will force the sponsor to formalize his or her ideas. Also, be able to provide a framework for collecting initial project information and also to standardize information to be used by steering or approval committee. Here also, we are going to list the project key elements in the system request document. So these are the elements of a system request. We may have the project sponsor, the project needs, I mean the business needs, the business requirements, the business value, and also special issues or constraints. Again, we start with the project sponsor, the business need, business requirement, business value, special issues or constraints. And now let's go through each element. So the first element is the project sponsor. Here we say the person who initiates the project. It can be more than one person. And also who serves as the primary point of contact for the project on the business side. An example here can be uh, the chief information officer or the CEO or the vice president of a company, etc. Now the business need is the business related reason for initiating the project. The main reason why or what objective uh, the project will accomplish for the business and have to be a positive. So example here will be to reach a new market segment offer, a capability to keep up with competitors. It can even be to improve a customer management relationship or vendors communication, etc. Improve access to information, decrease product defects or possible decrease cost of producing the products, streamline supply acquisition process. So again, the business need have to be something that will benefit the company positive. The next is the business requirements. This will be the new or enhanced business capabilities that the system will provide. For example, we have a system uh, that normally manually prepare the payroll or a system that manually uh, keep inventory, updating inventory system. Now we may decide to computerize it or to automate the system. So this will again, we improve the capability of the business operations, improve it. So example giving you provide online access to information. Maybe previously the company don't have this uh, features so. or also capture customer demographic information, include product search capabilities, produce performance reports, enhance online user support. Now next will be the business value. This will be the benefit that the system will create for the organization. So for example, 3% increase in sales, 1% increase in market share, of course, reduction in headcount, or reduction in uh, cost of producing uh, items. Next will be the special issues or constraints. So this again depends. Uh, we may have some constraints or issues pertaining to business operations. So example here is the issues that pertain 
to the approval committee decision. Government mandated deadline for May 30. A very good example would be uh, we have electronic uh, medical records. Uh, the government gave a bill and they gave some time for private clinics and hospitals, both public and private, to digitize their patients' records. Now, the clinic or the hospital, they'll have no choice because this is a, a regulation, a decree. So that's to be a government mandated deadline. Also, system needed in time for Christmas holiday season, maybe because of increase in business operations activities. Uh, top level security clearance needed by project team to work with data. So these are all issues and constraints pertaining. Now we have one example here, system request for a company named Drone Tech uh, for the client service system. So the system request said is title is client service project. The project sponsor is Camela Herrera. It's a general manager for the client service business unit or department. Now, what's the business name? Here we say the project has been initiated to create the capability of clients requesting drone flight service and also data analysis through the company website. The capability is an essential element in the business model of newly formed client service business unit. Now, the business requirement will be using this system from our company website, clients will be able to request a specific drone flight services and data analysis. A request will be offered to any contracted drone tech drone pilots in the vicinity who can submit bills during the bidding window. Now, once the bidding window closes, the pilot with the winning bid will be assigned the request. So that's the business requirement. Now, what would be the business value? Here we say the client service business unit has been formed to enable clients who do not have need for actual drone ownership to receive a drone flight services and also data analysis promptly and also cost effectively. So we can say business value must be positive uh, result. And here we say as a new as a new business unit, we must estimate the additional revenue from two streams. That's additional drone pilot who contract with drone tech and lease a drone, and also a client who contract with specific drone flight service and data analysis. And our fifth element will be the special issues or constraints. So here, for example, the capabilities described in the business requirements are essential to the business model for the business uh, client service business unit. This project is necessary for the new business unit operations. So how do we estimate the business value? Here we can identify the sources such as, is there any increase in sales? And uh, when we say estimate the business value, we mean the project the IT or information system product that we have, if it's a software, is it giving us a positive result? For example, increase sales is what every business organization wants. Decreasing cost expenses is also what every business organization wants. Does it reduce the headcount, lower the turnover, assign values as initial estimates. Now here we have example, high level estimate, we say somewhere around 25%. Revenue projection of the pilot contracts and drone leases. Again, this is a, a projection was $500,000. But the revenue projection for the client request for the drone flight services and data analysis, $700,000. We have the median level estimate, 350 to 550. Also low level, 150,000, 400,000. And then the weighted average expected revenue for the revenue projection of pilot contract and drone leases will be 357 
1,500. So that will be the conclusion of these lectures. Again, these lectures will focus on the whole concept of system requests. And we'll say that even the project management uh, knowledge or practice, a system request will be the first document that we always have to produce. And it has to give us a positive reason why we should embark on this project. So I can see you in the next lectures and thank you for your time.